In this video, we'll go through an example question. We're given a reaction, we find the relative changes in enthalpy and entropy, and determine whether the reaction is spontaneous or not. Given this equation, we're asked whether the tendency toward minimum enthalpy favors reactants or products, whether the tendency toward maximum entropy favors reactants or products, and when reactants are mixed, will we get no reaction, equilibrium, or completion? You may have noticed this question mark above the double arrow in the equation. It means that we haven't determined yet whether an equilibrium is established or whether the reaction goes to completion. If it's equilibrium, then we can keep the double arrow. If it's completion, we'll have to replace the double arrow with a single one. We'll act on this once we know. The last question we're asked is whether the reaction is spontaneous or not. Let's start with the first question. Will minimum enthalpy favor reactants or products? We see that the heat term is on the right side of the equation. This tells us that this reaction is exothermic. So sketching an enthalpy diagram for an exothermic reaction, we see that the products have minimum enthalpy. So we can say that the tendency toward minimum enthalpy favors the products. And we'll make a note of that down here. We should point out here that even though the tendency toward minimum enthalpy favors the products, and energy is released to the surroundings, exothermic reactions still require an initial input of energy to get them started. The reactants must have enough kinetic energy to make it over this activation energy barrier shown in the graph. When we predict that products are favored, we are assuming reactants possess the required activation energy to start the reaction. The next question is whether maximum entropy favors reactants or products. To answer this, we look for gases in the equation. We see there are 19 moles of gas on the reactant side, and 12 plus 14 equals 26 moles of gas on the product side. So because there are more moles of gas on the product side, we can say that the tendency toward maximum entropy favors the products. And we'll make a note of that down here. Remember in cases where minimum enthalpy favors products and maximum entropy also favors products, the reaction will go to completion when reactants are mixed. Remembering when we say this, we're assuming the reactants have sufficient kinetic energy to overcome the activation energy barrier. In a combustion reaction like this one, it means we must ignite the fuel. Whenever a reaction goes to completion, it is spontaneous. Because the reaction goes to completion, we should replace the double equilibrium arrow and its question mark with a single arrow pointing toward the products. So we can now answer the last two questions. When the reactants are mixed, the reaction will go to completion, which we can note down here. And yes, this reaction is spontaneous, which we can also note down here. Now we can summarize by answering all the original questions. The tendency toward minimum enthalpy favors the products, and the tendency toward maximum entropy also favors the products. And when reactants are mixed, this reaction will go to completion. This is a combustion reaction, and we're assuming here that we're supplying the necessary activation energy to start the reaction. And lastly, we can state that this reaction is spontaneous, assuming the necessary activation energy is supplied.